Hello everyone and welcome to my very first Valentine's Day tutorial. Here I'm using Maybelline Color Tattoo, uh, probably in pink, um, and the MAC pigment in I think Dusty Rose or Rosé or something like that. It's a very pretty golden rosé pink color. I'm using it with a little Fix Plus on a normal eyeshadow brush. Also I am using this color by um, Makeup Geek, it's called Creme Brulee and I am dusting it all over the crease just to make the colors that I used before appear seamless. Next color on the same brush I'm using Frappe also from Makeup Geek. I'm using a very fluffy brush and the darker the color gets the more outside I use it, like the intensity is based outside and is brought inside. Then I'm going in with the color Coco Bear, also by Makeup Geek. Same brush, it's a 217, a fluffy brush. Again, I'm um, concentrating the darkness on the outside. Here I'm using a, I think it's a Sigma, just a little bit of bigger fluffy blending brush, just to blend everything seamlessly together. Then I'm using a smaller kind of fluffy brush, it's a little bit um, like a pencil brush but bigger and I'm using the color Vanilla from MAC just um, underneath the brow bone and then I blend the brown colors back again. After that again on the same eyeshadow brush on the movable lid I am using the De Rose pigment from MAC with Fix Plus again just to um, put more intensity on my lids because I found that whilst blending it got a little bit away. Again, Coco Bear, I'm using it on the outer edges just to make them even more dark and defined. Then I'm using a makeup removal wipe just to clean up my under eye area. I always um, apply my eyeshadow very sloppy just because I can clean it up later. I'm priming my face with the Nivea aftershave balm everybody's raving about and I'm using my uh, Makeup Forever HD Ultra HD Makeup uh, Stick Foundation and I'm blending it in with my Beauty Blender. Then I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer on any spots that I have and afterwards I use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer underneath my eyes and also a little bit on my face to even out the highlight. To set my under eye area I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Lightning Powder Palette and to set the rest of my face in place I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Powder. And then I'm using my Hula Bronzer just to bronze where I want a little bit bronze going on, also to contour a little bit with it. And afterwards I'm using my Clinique Cheek Pop and Melon Pop to give my cheeks a little color. On my eyebrows I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in taupe and to hold the little hairs in place I'm using my Benefit Brow Gel. Now on to the fun part, I'm using Champagne Pop on my cheek as a highlight, also down the bridge of my nose and on my mouth and I'm also using a little bit of it underneath my brow bones as well because I just couldn't help myself, I love Champagne Pop so much. Here I'm tight lining my eyes with a black coal eye pencil, you can use any one that you want. And I'm using a mix of Coco Bear and Frappe just to blend that out underneath my eyes. Also, for the inner corner, I'm using Max Paradisco. It's kind of the same shade that the pigment had, maybe a little bit less intense glittery. Here I am just doing what I always do with my lashes. I curl, I prime and I put on my favorite mascara, which is Better Than Sex by Too Faced. On my lips I am using a nude lip liner by um, Too Faced, I believe it's the only lip liner they have in nude. And as lipstick I'm using Flesh Pot by MAC. 
And after this I'm using a nude lip gloss from Marc Jacobs and you are ready to go. I'm just spritzing a little of my All Nighter by Urban Decay and that's it. That's my first Valentine's look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. Bye!